Hello everyone, how are you today? Uh, welcome uh, to the channel Crack MRCS and this channel is dedicated for MRCS examining. Uh, so here's the question. A 24 years old motorcyclist is involved in a road traffic accident. He suffers a tibial fracture which is treated with intramedullary nail. Postoperatively, he develops a compartment syndrome. Surgical compression, surgical decompression of anterior compartment will relieve pressure on all of the following muscle except. So here a 24 years old motorcyclist involved in road traffic accidents. He suffers a tibial fracture and intramedullary nail was given. Postoperatively, uh, he develops compartment syndrome. Surgical depression, uh, decompression of anterior compartment will relieve pressure all of the muscle except. So here, surgical decompression of anterior compartment will release all the muscles of the anterior compartment. So first of all, we have to uh, find out the muscles of the anterior compartment. Then it will be very easy for us that which muscle is not a component of anterior compartment so here are the options the options are peroneus brevis peroneus tertius extensor digitorum longus tibialis anterior and none of the above so here you can see this is the anterior compartment and lateral to the anterior compartment there is lateral or peroneal compartment here we can see this is the anterior compartment and most laterally it is the lateral or peroneal compartment in the anterior compartment we can see here this is the knee joint this is ankle joint and foot so this is anterior border or sheen of the tibia here the muscles first of all this muscle is tibialis anterior then the second one it is the extensor hallucis longus and third one this is extensor digitorum longus so here we also can see the another picture there is the tibialis anterior here extensor hallucis longus and lateral to this this is the extensor digitorum longus and two other muscles who is present they are the component of the lateral compartment or peroneal compartment in this picture we can see the peroneus tertius muscle this it also present in the anterior compartment because it lies anterior to the lateral part of the tibia and fibula and we also can see the lateral two muscles which are shown here uh, th these two muscles here these two muscles lateral compartment or peroneal compartment the two muscles is peroneus longus and peroneus brevis so here the muscles of anterior compartment they are the tibialis anterior extensor digitorum longus extensor hallucis longus and peroneus tertius here we have to be very careful for peroneus tertius because there is peroneal compartment in the leg so peroneus tertius it may be misguided as it is the muscles of the lateral compartment or peroneal compartment but not that peroneus tertius is a muscle of anterior compartment and the muscles of anterior compartment are supplied by the deep peroneal nerve all the muscles of anterior compartment are supplied by the deep peroneal nerve and as they are uh, all the common function dorsiflexion and we can see their common function is dorsiflexion and some other function so anterior compartment four muscles the tibialis anterior extensor hallucis longus extensor digitorum longus and the special one is peroneus tertius because in the leg there is peroneal compartment so it misleads us that uh, it is a peroneal compartment muscle but not that the tertius it is the anterior compartment muscle so here the peroneal compartment or lateral compartment muscle there are two important muscle that is peroneus longus and peroneus brevis 
and the peroneus longus and peroneus brevis they are supplied by the superficial peroneal nerve so here we can see a the peroneus tertius it is a muscles of the anterior compartment extensor digitorum longus tibial is anterior these three muscles are uh, the muscles of anterior compartment but peroneus brevis it is the muscles of the lateral compartment or peroneal compartment so our final answer is peroneus brevis and peroneus brevis is not a muscles of the anterior compartment